Hey everyone, my name is Christian Joel and welcome to McDorks where we're gonna go ahead and open a swap box. So stay tuned to what, see what that is. This is their golden egg Harry Potter Easter swap. So this is brought to you by Melissa over at Geeking Out with Melly Mel and myself here at McDorks. And we have a bunch of channels that go on ahead and came along and we're basically having to send a Harry Potter box that is catered to our person that we're giving to and it has certain requirements. So before I go ahead and do that, if you are new to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Comment below as well, see what, what you like about this. Let's have a conversation about it. And as well, press a like, share the Harry Potter love. Speaking of Harry Potter, there is a new series coming out very soon and I would love to hear your opinions about that. So this is our second time going ahead and doing this. Uh, we had bunches of fun last year and I am so excited to go ahead and open my box for you. Unfortunately, my person who is Lady Victoria had a certain injury and could not go ahead and send me my box. But I do know that she is out today at a certain event. So I'm hoping not that she's out and about that she can go ahead and send me my box ASAP so I could go ahead and show you guys what she has got me and share with the festivities. So Melissa was actually kind enough to go ahead and send me a box that she put together at the last minute just so that I can partake in the festivities along with everyone else. So this isn't my actual box. This is just like a substitute for you guys so that you guys can go ahead and see and for me to as well have fun with it. So I do want to thank every single person that's participating in this and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to watch Michael's video as well because he's partaking in this and everybody else. All the links will be down below and my person that I gave to, um, you just got to wait. I'll say it at the end. Uh, I will blur out right now my address because I did have my actual address but these are all the stickers and I do highly appreciate it. You do have some Harry Potter goodies all around the box. Thank you so much for going ahead and setting this box to its theme. So let's open it. And it does have this green bubble wrap. So if you guys don't know, I am a Slytherin, loud and proud. And Melissa went ahead and decked it all out in green bubble wrap. Oh, okay. Now I got to show the inside again because I took out the bubble wrap and it just looks really cool. Love it. So we do have a card here. And on the back of it, it does have a Harry Potter sticker that says making potion. That is adorable. Oh, I don't want to rip it. I don't want to rip it. Maybe I can peel it back a little. There we go. Ooh, ooh. So we do have a card here. What fell out right now was a few stickers. We do have a Slytherin sticker. Favorite classes. I'm in between this and potions. And Mischief Managed, which is like awesome. Super cute. All right, and this card is beautiful as well. Like potions and stuff. And the inside says, Christian, thank you for being my partner in crime for this swap. Super excited to have you co-host with me again. I know that the box you are meant to receive in this swap is slightly delayed. So I wanted to send some pixie dust and magic your way in the meantime. I hope you like the goodies, hugs, Mel, and uh, from Geeking Out with Melly Mel. So this is PS as well. There is an extra bit of magic in the box. I added some crystals. She added some crystals. So if you guys don't know, I actually grew up with very superstitious backgrounds. I just loved witch movies and shows and histories and as well with anything about Friday the 13th, anything that had to do with the supernatural, everything of that. And I, I and I kind of lost my way as I got older, but I've been very fascinated in crystals and very fascinated in the in the witchy world. So Melissa has been luring me into that. So I do appreciate that. So we're going to go ahead and check that out, but let's go ahead and open everything else first. So the re basic requirements are having something that has to do with the golden egg having a headwear, a candle, and a pin. So this is basically anything that has to do with Harry Potter. Open it. So right here, it has oh, beautiful, beautiful stickers. I love the aesthetic on here with the twine. All right. Oh, Professor Snape, RIP. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. So this is a hat of the 
Hogwarts train, platform nine and three quarters as well, with luggages and the train stars, the little ticket. I don't know if you can see the nine and four three quarters ticket. That's a beautiful Tito. It does give me like 90s vibes. And I love the aesthetic from the 90s of Harry Potter. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. And I love caps as well. Um, I definitely needed a Harry Potter cap to be honest. I've been really wanting to get one. All right. And then there's this beautiful box. Speaking of the golden egg swap, there is another swap that we have done and it is the Yule Ball. The Yule Ball is part of the Triwizard Tournament. So I do love the fact that this is not even like, I don't know if it was on purpose, but it just fits in so beautifully. <gasps> Ooh, it's Luna Lovegood Funko Pop pin. Oh, wow. So Luna Lovegood is one of my favorite characters. She's very eccentric, very out there, very open-minded. She's like very kooky, but she's very intelligent and just one of the best friends you probably, you like literally would have to have. And I just love her so much. Oh, this is adorable. I should go ahead and open it. All right, and this is the pin right here. Look at that beautiful detail. And the cool about this thing is that it is a pin, but it is the size of a Funko Pop. So if you don't want to put it on anything that normally you would put a pin on, it does come with a stand so that you can display it on your shelves. It does, you can alter it to what you want, but love it. Love it, love it, love it. She's so pretty. Okay, and then this is one more here. Oh, sorry. So this is a Harry Potter doll and it does have the golden egg in it. So there you, <laughs> I literally wish I thought of this. I did not think about an actual doll. Oh my gosh. This is super cute. This is super cute. I do love the outfit. And to be honest, we have no, no dolls at all. Well, I don't consider Funko Pop, but like any kind of like dolls like this. And I always thought about like, should I get one or two or something just to have like a different aesthetic going on in the background? And I just love it. Oh, that's cool. So it is a Triwizard Tournament, uh, Harry Potter. There is another one that shows on the back. I'm not too quite sure if if there's just different versions in general, but there's a Cedric Diggory in his robes from the Triwizard Tournament as well. Ooh, thank you so much. This is so cool. All right, so if all things are correct, this would be the candle. She did tell me that everything that she got was at least something that had to do with the requirements. And again, Melissa, you didn't have to. I highly appreciate that you went out of your way just to share the festivities. I really highly appreciate it. Nine and three quarters sticker right there. Keeping up with that theme. So let's see. Oh, I can smell it already. So this is from CE Craft Candles. I never got anything from them before um I'm trying to find your opening it, oh it's here okay. smells like draco slithering into your heart oh wow that's freaking cool so it's like something that they was make from parts of the characters so this one says it smells like draco so i guess this is what draco would smell in real life. Dang, Draco, you smell really fine. That smells really good. <sighs> smells fantastic. I need to look into them. Slither into your heart. It touched me there for sure. Oh, it's apple and mahogany. No wonder, I love mahogany. 
I feel like mahogany is a very, very good scent with anything. So it says apple, mahogany, and wood notes. Awesome. All right. Last but definitely not least, I'm guessing these are the crystals that she threw in there. Um, it does have the chocolate frog, which is one of my absolute favorite uh, aesthetic from the Harry Potter world. Right? So here's a little baggy. How cute that is. Oh, it's so witchy. So there is a candle here that has some crystals in it. I don't know if she's... She names a few of them, but I don't know if she specifies which is which. Because I'm a virgin to this. Um, there is, so she says that there is fluorite, uh, labradorite, and two raw pieces of moss agate. Okay, I'm not too quite sure what this is. What well, it says winter frost on the bottom. It does have a little bit of smoke. Maybe it's just me. It smells like balsam. It smells really good. And then there are some crystals here. Oh, that's beautiful. It gives me Slytherin vibes. Ooh, and then there's this one. And here's another one. It has like a bluish green tint. I don't know if it can show very well. There's like greenish blue. So interesting. And then last but not least. Oh, there, there's something else in here. There's wood. I don't know if this one's supposed to be something. Melissa, let me know in the comments below. And then there's this one. Oh, they're so pretty. So I'm guessing this, these two here, they kind of look similar. I'm guessing they are uh, moss agate. Moss, two raw pieces of moss agate, agate. I'm guessing this is fluorite. And this is labyrinth, maybe. I may be wrong, but hey, I'm trying here. Thank you so much, Melissa. This is actually so cool. I now have a first set of different crystals and I'm so excited to go ahead and continue this journey. I wanna go ahead and thank you for every single channel that participated in this. Do not forget to watch Michael's video and also watch the person I gave to, which is Kaylee Christensen. I hope you liked everything that was in that box. I try to be a little bit unpredictable and as well do something that was um, just something different that wouldn't break on the way over there. So hopefully everything got there safely and, and sound. And as well, go ahead and watch Melissa. Thank you so much for um, hosting this and having me as your co-host. I highly appreciate this. It's been very fun. Again, all the links are down below. Go watch and everything. And as soon as I got my box from Lady Victoria McLean, I'll go ahead and share with you all. And I'm so excited for, for that as well. All right, guys. Thank you so much for popping in. And remember, stay turkey.